So this has come hot on the heels of the results of the Novavax vaccine overnight. These are the results of the Johnson and Johnson uh, vaccine, uh, the second wave in this, uh, the second in this second wave of vaccines, if you like, fifth overall, as you say. And the results from the Johnson and Johnson are very promising indeed. They show overall this vaccine is 66% effective at preventing moderate to severe COVID-19, but much more protective, 85% against the most serious symptoms. And according to the company, it gives complete protection, so 100% against hospitalization and death from the disease as of day 28 after infection. So, so very promising results there. Now, the thing that makes this vaccine stand out from the rest, what marks it out from the crowd is that it is administered via a single dose. All the others require two doses, of course, and that makes this vaccine uh, much easier to distribute and administer. Also in its favour is the cost, approximately £7 a dose. That's equivalent to around two of the uh, Oxford AstraZeneca uh, vaccine doses. And like the Oxford vaccine, it can also be stored at normal fridge temperatures. All of this means, in theory, it can be extended to low and middle income uh, countries much more rapidly than the other vaccines, uh, countries which, of course, have received very little vaccine uh, at all at the moment. Um, the results are uh, from an ongoing trial involving 44,000 volunteers, mainly in the Americas. Uh, there is a separate trial taking place here in the UK, and earlier we spoke to the lead investigator of that trial, Professor Saul Faust. This is what he had to say. We're, going, we're using one dose at the moment in the UK programme because it means that we can hopefully take the pressure off the system just using one dose uh, with this, this vaccine. And the, the other thing about it is it protects against severe disease right across the globe. So South Africa, Latin America, it was tested against different uh, uh, variants of the vaccine and in different um, populations. Now, as you heard there, the vaccine was also tested in South America and South Africa. That's significant because in both places there are worrying new strains of this disease, of COVID uh, emerging.